Are you burying the ball? Hey. What do you what do you got going on there? What are you doing? I put a whole bunch of dirt in that corner so you uh you'd have something to dig because I knew that wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> yep. The terrier's coming out. So, at first I thought he was trying to escape, getting out of the, the prison confines that we've got in here. Because as you can see, this is a horrible, inhospitable, right? Inhospitable area for Yorkies. He shouldn't have to live in such a tiny confined space. And then of course, he's got the exit point to his separated lavatory. But no, that's not enough. You want to leave us behind and start on a life of your own. Right? You're going to go up and you're going to go live with the wolves? You're going to live with the wolves? Well, maybe. He's just trying to bury the ball. That could be it. Maybe he's not trying to leave it all. What are you doing? You are a man on a serious mission here. Not entirely sure what it is. He hasn't covered the ball up. He just drops it in the hole. So. He's almost six months old now. So he's starting to figure things out. But I don't know. I don't know what he's figuring out. And what he's planning on doing with this newfound knowledge. <laughs> He still likes bark, sticks, but the, uh, wow, you're too fast for me to follow, man. The burying the ball in the hole thing, that is, that is definitely new. So this is, it's hard to see, but it's definitely, it's a hole. You can stick your fist down in there. Right? You wild little thing. He's still going to run away, but, uh. I think he's going to do it after his nap.